I saw him. He went to the nether. I couldn't follow him because I couldn't get through a gate. I wonder if he'll ever come back to his bedroom so that way I can go boom. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Let's Play series. I hope your day is going absolutely amazing. And let's get into today's video because we have a lot of work to do. And yes, I ran into the wall. So what are we doing today? Um, well, we want to work on the base a little bit. I've spent the last few days in the nether and yeah, I, I don't really want to be in the nether any longer for now. So we have this, we have this nice little overhang we created and we ran it in right here and we've got this situation. Now I always intended for this to be temporary and to actually build a structure off right here that would allow us to come up a water stream and I was thinking of using trap doors for it and stuff and we need we need one on kind of all sides so we have the we would have one here and we need to have one over here somewhere now I'm kind of thinking we actually build it straight out from this um that kind of makes logical sense but then it's going to hit this island but maybe that's a good thing because maybe the structural supports go down here and we expand this area and then that can look okay and on the back side here, we do the exact same thing. We bring it straight out from that and we build a structure right here. I kind of like that idea. And for now, we will leave this side over here undeveloped because we don't really have anything over here yet. We haven't even expanded to that area down there. Um, I kind of like this overhang. I have some ideas for that. But to start off construction today, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is I want to dig this tunnel right here. So we kind of have the center here marked out. So if we dig this out and I want to add a railing too and kind of start bringing some shape to everything, even if it's just rough shape, I want to pull it together and kind of start getting an idea for what things should look like long term. All right, we broke through on the other side here and hopefully this will all work out perfectly. Oh, it, it actually is level. That's better than I thought it would be. Um, so what I'm thinking here is we will kind of mimic the doorways that we did on the rest of the base. So I need to take a second and kind of look at this and copy and paste type thing. All right, after a brief reference, I think I know what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and smooth it out like that. And we're gonna add three oak logs on each side. And then we're going to strip these oak logs, of course. And then we're going to wrap around these areas like this. Up on top, it's actually an extremely simple uh, shape. All I did was uh, come in like this. And then in the middle, oops, I got my shapes off a little bit here. In the middle, all we did is that. And then I think on this side, actually we use trap doors. I'd have to go confirm that, but if I didn't, that's what I should definitely upgrade it to because that looks way better. There we go. And that looks awesome. Seems like it's way shorter than the other. Oh, it is way shorter. Wait, I have already made a grave mistake. All right, catastrophic failure has been fixed and it looks much better now. I actually, I think it looks better without the uh, panels up here. I thought originally when I did this, it looked way better with that. Actually, does it or does it not? I can't decide. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you feel like it, I would love to have your input because I can't really decide. I think it looks, I think it looks fantastic either way, but it probably looks better the other way. Um, but for now, we're just going to do it this way because it's consistent then. Um, the question is, is how far out does this side stick? I'm thinking we bring it out to here. Um, so we'll kind of see what this looks like real quick because then it's rather simple We just wrap the stairs around here like this and uh, I'll get up on top first Or I do these that way I can access it all and then we have to do the same thing over here three across and then pop these on and then we're gonna have to Just build this like this so it kind of pulls together um Actually, I don't like that it's even. I want it to be back one more block. Okay, that definitely looks a little bit better, more recessed like that, I think. So we'll go ahead and add these panels in. 
And then we need to remove this mountaintop up just a little bit. That way we have more of an even appearance with the top of the roof. There we go, that kind of looks better. We could even add um, stone stairs right here to kind of make it look like it's rounded just like the arches. Um, that might just be the simple fix that I do. But for now, my main goal is to pull the whole area together with more structure. So, I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and break these two out kind of to give a little bit more detail. This needs a stair back there. That way, this whole thing kind of pulls together. There we go. It didn't have that, like, you didn't see that backdrop. Now it looks better. Um, so, with that, kind of accidentally made these um, the same, so that's good. Um, so now, the, one of the next things we're going to have to consider is how we go about um, adding supports for fences. I don't think I want to do, I don't know how I want to do that right now. I can't decide. It's a very difficult choice. Um, I'm also thinking about we need to access this area over here because we need to gain access to the rest of our base. And we have this cavern right here. So this goes around and accesses here. Now, that's just like two blocks to make a straight access point. So let's cut a hole here. I want to be careful because I don't want to mess anything up too badly here. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice little bit of a fall there. All right, make it so we can't at least fall through when we're running. Yeah, so I kind of like this idea. We have like access to the cave here and then around. Um, and then we'll have to create a path that goes... Well, around or through something. Um, originally, I wanted an arch to go from here to there. So maybe what we do is we bring the arch over and we cut this mountain back. So there's kind of like a crescent moon and there's a path that hits in with that. So that way we have like a multi path system in the base. Oh, well, I guess down we go. We'll collect that log while we're here and uh, get back up top. OK, so I'd like to take a look at figuring out what these houses or whatever we're going to call them should look like. Um, so I would like to start off by creating a nice little platform here. And then we expand this out over the hill a little bit. And now we don't want this to look too narrow, which is what I'm afraid is going to happen. So we need to maybe bring like this and then we need to expand outwards slightly so it's a two block gap here. So let's bring these out like this. Maybe what it needs then is um, a little bit of building on the bottom side. So I need a water bucket. This may potentially look absolutely awful in the end. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I want to try my best here because I want to learn to build better and build more things that I'm not exactly used to. Um, and this is a decent start here. So I'm kind of doing, I guess I'm doing the opposite of what I should be. I'm building an upside down boat when I'm thinking I want to build a boat. So yeah, whoops, let me let me invert what I'm doing here a few layers and uh, then we'll pick back up on this. Okay, so we've got this little bit of a boat structure off the ledge and I kind of like this. Um, the only issue I'm seeing is, is uh, it kind of needs to be further than further than what it is. But maybe this is fine. Let's let's try and do this original idea on this side. Maybe we make each one unique, kind of like it's its own tower. So we just try and build a unique structure for each of our um, ways up into the base. Maybe that's a good way to add some character to the build. So let's go ahead and pull these in. Um, let's level this out maybe. Okay, I kind of like the way this looks. And of course we can then get underneath this whole thing and add some more detailing with stairs and slabs afterwards. But we're trying to get the rough shape of the boat in the build. Um, I kind of feel like this block right here should be a stair. And then this like is a block here maybe to help break up the brickiness of it. Maybe uh, these front blocks do the same. And then we have a little bit of, it's like a pier head. So we do that. And then that might help pull the structure to be a little less square. And then we replace the very tip with a stair as well. I want to build back and look. I don't want these stairs side by side. So we're going to bring this back another layer. And then um, what we're going to have is we need to bring this up and over again because we need to bring it out. So 
let's expand here and here. And then we pop out right there, and then that is going to be the stair weld. Okay, I like the shape that we've got up top here. So now I'm gonna bring these in very far, kind of bring it all the way up into the mainland here, right here actually. And then now I'm gonna bring in stairs here. And my goal is I actually wanna make it look like the boat has been cut and anchored to the ground here. So I wanna create a little bit of high points, kind of like anchors that show like it's been sturdied and built here on the shore, if we can. I'm not entirely sure what it'll look like for me to do this, so kind of playing with the idea. And of course, we will have to do a bit of terraforming to make it look right in the end, but I think we can do it. We're just, for now, we're gonna seal over our water elevator and uh, we're just gonna cut it off simply. That way we have a clean slate and can work with whatever we've got going on. Now, for clamps, I kind of thought about the fact maybe we use some of the savanna wood, and um, we can also bring in some cobblestone, give it a nice stone texture, and um, I built way more stairs than I needed there. But we can get away maybe with concrete joints, or not concrete, but stone joints like this, kind of anchoring it down. Um, eh, this do that doesn't quite look stable. Let's add this and then that. And then we can add maybe like a head here holding it. And uh, maybe just add some little bit of supports like this, kind of making it look like it's being anchored down by these. And that these were built in to support the whole structure. I, I don't know if this kind of looks right or makes sense. It could look stupid and be a horrible idea, but Trying my best to design something that doesn't look super silly, but also looks kind of cool. And on this side, we have a very unique issue, since there's no ground here. But I kind of thought about this. We're going to be changing this entire, like, dynamic of the mountain over here and bring it to more of a point anyway, was my original thought. So um, I wanted to bring this and kind of cut it in. Huh, there's like a skeleton right here. I guess that is the underground. Wait, is that a pillager? What is the pillager doing over there? Yeah, actually, I don't I don't know how I feel about these. Maybe maybe this is a dumb idea to kind of like make it look anchored. I can't decide. I like the concept, but I don't know if I did it to look right. Um, let's actually let's do something a little bit silly and craft a boat. And we're gonna go boat capture this guy. Will you get in the boat? Thank you. Now, if we sit here long enough, he will break his bow. And he can't actually hit us, it seems. And he's in the boat. Interesting. This is a really cool thing I didn't know existed. So he's trying to shoot backwards. And then he shoots downwards. And the arrows actually are not hitting us because he's in the boat. So we can actually break this crossbow and then his arms will just dangle by his side and uh, we can have him as a little base pet. Is that is that an okay thing to call a pillager a base pet? I, I don't entirely know. But uh, let's go ahead and sit here a minute and let this crossbow break because why not? We can have a nice base pet. We get a name tag and name him something cute and uh, we'll put him somewhere. It just happened, guys. He just broke the crossbow. Now he's just sitting there, staring off into space, pondering why he always oh, looking at the lava. No, you can't go and jump in the lava because your crossbow broke. Let's grab a name tag real quickly, and what should we name him? Commodore Elegerius. I like it. It makes no sense, but that's what your name will be from now. Bam. Commodore Elegerius. All right, so now we're just going to park uh, Commodore over here for a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go back to building. We need to figure out what this should look like and if we like the fact that it has like these anchor points. I like the idea of it being anchored down. It kind of makes more sense than just being a floating object. But I, re I really don't know if I can pull the look off because over here, it has to be a vertical embrace, basically, which I like the idea of one sideways, one vertical. It makes sense, kind of is a cool idea. So I think we'll go for it. Oh, uh, look at him. He's got his hands up and he is cheering. Hooray. He's so happy. 
yeah, I, I, I don't think he's very happy, honestly. But I am pretty happy myself because we have gotten this kind of situated and figured out for what we're going to do. Um, so right here is going to be the up position. So we're going to build kind of a decking around this and we're just going to fill this in. And one problem that we're going to have is actually the fact that everything up here is spruce so far, which is not good for business exactly. So we need to figure out partially what we can do to change this around a little bit. Considering I've never built a boat in Minecraft, I'm honestly happy with how that turned out. Okay, I've kind of got, I did a little bit more adjusting on the boat and I've kind of got it to a spot that I like it. I feel like this kind of works and looks okay. So what I wanna try and do is, we're gonna do something kind of stupid. I wanna try to use acacia wood this is kind of gonna stand out really badly, but I'm hoping that I can make it work because I'd like to actually see acacia wood in the build. So I tried to come up with something a little bit different and I really like it, but I also, I think it looks kind of ugly, but I think the problem is, is actually not the middle piece, but these, I think these look wrong. But the problem is, is I don't, I don't really know how to make them look right. <laughs> so if we do like a downward um, thing, like a further roof, I don't think it looks right either. Um, but let's do that for a moment. Um, see, even if we were like to invert it like this, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't look right still. No ship can ever be without its captain, so we're gonna go ahead and put Mr. Pillager um, right up here in the front of it in a boat for now. Um, Commodore Ilgerius will uh, just proceed to chill up here, and uh, he's gonna be just fine with that and enjoy it. And I fell in the hole again. But attention to detail can be done later. Right now we need a water elevator. And I'm hoping if I go down with this one, we'll run into the shaft for the other one. And I won't be lost as to where I am. Because I think this is still pretty much inside the mountain, just a couple blocks ahead of where the old one was. So if we dig long enough here, we should hit it. And yes, we did. We were simply two blocks forward. Well, that was kind of dumb. And there we go, we have the water elevator back in and we have access up here. And uh, overall, this one turned out okay. I kind of I kind of like this, it's growing on me the more I look at it, so just stare at it, it'll be okay. You'll like it, I promise. Now, over here, um, I'm actually thinking we're gonna go out right here because um, what we're gonna do is eventually when we terraform this area, We'll keep this area and this will be a bridge piece and then this will connect in here and up to here. So this will kind of be like a two way bridge. Um, so I need to grab materials and then we kind of build out and experiment around with it. We'll line it up here with this, go straight out, um, then probably go right over that block and then that way we can do the multi-way segment. All right, let's take a look at this. So right here is the middle and let's just do one block wide for now. We'll go all the way out. Oak wood is kind of a mixed bag. It's such a generic wood that's been around for so long, but it also is still a pretty nice palette. Um, so this is gonna be the center block, meaning we need to come out one more, and then we should just go ahead and expand this platform out in all directions. We might make this a circle platform, actually, but for now, let's go ahead and mix it up. We're gonna use spruce logs on the corners here bring these up and then we're not gonna are we gonna should we strip these now nah, i want some hardwood tones we haven't had hardwood in the bail or in the build yet so let's go ahead and use logs like this and this will chop out and i wonder if i can survive a fall to that i do not have feather falling so probably not um i need to know exactly where this block is so it's 181, 118, and please don't let me die. Ha ha, MLG Pro, ha, I did it, okay. Um, so this is obviously way lower than I thought it was. So this torch marks the middle of the platform up top. So now we wanna do the same thing down here where it's like two out from that on all sides. 
when we bring down those pillars, hopefully it kind of all lines up because that's the next thing I have to do is go back up top here and bring those pillars all the way down, which is going to be a lot of spruce logs that I don't even know if I have that many, so I might have to grab a couple more. Now we'll just go ahead and do this like some old fashioned sky block where we're going to go down a water stream until we hit the platform. And that way we are completely safe and can just build. All right, let's do the two adjacent corners. That way we can um, kind of math out where we need to build this platform. Um, and now we also know where the hole is considering we have a water stream coming straight down from it. Okay, so this one was correct. And this one was, ah, it was one block ahead. I thought so. Okay, that kind of explains why things are a little bit off like they are. Now, what I'm thinking is, and that that's probably going to look horrible having four logs that are just thousands of miles long. But it's going to be a drawn out process. We have to build this up slowly and uh, we'll make it look good eventually. But for now, that's giving us access down to this area once we um, put in the tube and kind of get that out of the way. Then we're going to be able to build stuff down here and kind of start building all around the base. Um, we also need to terraform the cliffs. Probably in the next episode, I'll take the time to do all the terraforming and uh, just we'll put a little time lapse in. But with that, guys, that looks like that's going to be it for today's episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Until then, be sure to take care. Bye bye.